Hi, it's Mona and for this project I am gonna mix lots of stems, mainly small bits from them, so I am just showing them like this. In the description box you can find the list of the used supplies. I have already stamped the images with jet black ink and after a quick heat set I can start the coloring. For the coloring I am using Spectrum Noir Illustrator markers but you can use any type of markers you have, just make sure to use the right cardstock for it. First I have started with the apples and as you can see I have used warm toned red colors and from the coralish red colors I went to the orangey one. As always I have repeated the same colorings once more to make it deeper, more contrasted and continued with the other apples as well. When the coloring part was done, I added very thin lines with white pencil on the top of the coloring and I colored it again with the lightest shade that I have used to color the apples. In this case I can mark very light but not white colors. After this I have also added white highlights with white pen. For the basket I have used golden brown colors and because I wanted to make it a bit more realistic I have used very different uh, shades. For example I have used my very darkest as well as my lightest and one from the mid-toned shades and I have tried to not make a blend but just flicks. The next step was to color the cats. I have used tan and bright orange colors to create these lovely cats. As you can see I have used the same colors but a bit differently.
the coloring is done. I hope you have enjoyed it. And the next step is to create the die cuts. I have also created some die cuts from cardstock. The first is tree house, what I have cut from light brown wood grain cardstock as well textured green cardstock. I have also created die cuts with the park add-on dies from the shadow box set and this lovely grass border from the mushroom border die set. Because this is gonna be a sunset card, I have created shadows with the complementary color of the green. So I have so I have picked this lovely red color candied apple from Distress Oxide inks and just gently blended the cardstocks. Last but not the least, I have used vintage photo Distress Oxide ink on the brown die cuts. I have used not a brush but my finger to make it more realistic. For the background I have used Squeeze Lemonade Distress Oxide ink, then I switched to Candied Apple and then I blend it together with White Honey. When all my die cut pieces were done and blended, it's time to put the card together. As a last step, I have stamped the Wishing You a Possum Day sentiment from the Meow You Doing stamp set with watermark ink and created a heat embossing on it with white embossing powder. This is the finished card. I hope you have enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Bye!